Good morning from beautiful 4,200 feet in the Cascade Sisu National Monument. We've gotten about, ah, my lips are frozen. We've gotten about seven inches so far over yesterday and last night, as you can see. An epic dump. And this is all before the huge storm is supposed to hit today. Here is the pile from our roof. Look at that, incredible. And the real fun kicker is that our driveway is a quarter mile long and we gotta plow it. So in preparation for this year's plowing, I'll show you my setup. I have the Cub Cadet 42 inch LT electric model. It's the only lawn tractor of its kind that's electric. And I got a snow plow for it. There it is. This is the uh, fast attach snow plow. It's pretty sweet. It's got these manual levers. This one, you click it and it raises and lowers the plow. This one locks the plow either in zero degrees or 30 degrees or 30 degrees the other way. And we also have chains, super rad. And my personal favorite is the ultra custom wheel weights, AKA a five gallon bucket filled with rocks. Never doubt the utility of a five gallon bucket. So today I'm gonna to be showing you plowing our driveway with this bad boy, which we've dubbed baby tractor. I'm sorry if my, ver if my voice is slurring a little bit. It is incredibly cold. It's probably 20 degrees up here. So yeah, we're going to see how she does. I've already plowed it once and it was pretty successful. But what I've done is I've created a larger mound since the blade isn't big enough to do the whole road. I've created a pretty large mound where I've dumped it all and now I have to plow that all the way again. And so that's twice as much snow basically. It's a pretty good time to plow right now because it's super cold, it's very, very dry. That's what you want, you want that light, fluffy snow. As soon as it rains or gets warm enough for the snow to melt and compact, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to plow. So I wanted to do it as early as possible. It's about seven in the morning right now. pretty damn well so one thing to consider is that that was that first run was down a super steep hill and the second run was basically flat now we have this part of our driveway which is an uphill I could go up and come back down and plow it but just for your your entertainment I'm gonna see if I can plow it up the hill enjoy <laughs> Remember how I do it for him, Lace Nathan, Lace Nathan, Lace Nathan. 
that was a miserable failure. I guess baby tractor has its limits. Let's just keep plowing downhill. Well, my ultra custom five gallon bucket wheel weight situation totally failed, so I had to retie it. Check it out. I now tied it to the back of the seat and the top of the seat, and before it had just fallen and was actually dragging on the ground, so maybe that's why I didn't even make it up the hill. This should be much better. Man, that thing is pretty freaking awesome. It's amazing. I'm pretty stoked. Baby tractor definitely delivers. I think that if I waited till it's about 12 to 15 inches high and then started plowing, it would be totally game over. But if I catch it when it's four to eight inches and it's dry and it's super cold out, then I think this will this will definitely suffice throughout the winter. So Great job, Cub Cadet, on the electric 42-inch uh, LT XT1 killer lawn tractor. Far exceeds my expectations. I have abused this uh, Cub Cadet more than anybody I think in the world so far with my off-roading and now with this snow plowing and I'm pushing it to the limit and every single time it delivers. I'm super stoked on the plow. One thing I do not like up on the plow is that the triggers with the cables that release and pivot the plow are kind of a pain. They get kind of stuck in cold weather. And it seems like the length of them is a little bit wrong. And just the way that they pull is really difficult. So that's a design improvement that I would definitely recommend you check out Cub Cadet. This video is not sponsored at all. Paid for all of this stuff in cold, hard cash. Going uphill, pain in the ass. Going downhill, no problem. Definitely need some wheel weights on the back. Chains are a must. One thing that I also have is I have the Super Lug tires, which are not stocked. These, these tractors come with the Turf Saver tires. And so I would definitely recommend getting the, the Super Lugs if you're gonna do this. All in all, awesome. I'm gonna keep plowing. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.